so today we're going to be talking about food chains and food webs. First, let's all start off with an introduction. Introduction. So matter, especially um, nutrients and energy, constantly cycles through an ecosystem. Second, energy from the producers, to, um, from energy from the sun enters an ecosystem through the producers. Third, energy flows from the producers to the primary consumers, to the secondary consumers, to the tertiary consumers, and to the decomposers. There are three types of models that show how matter and energy move through an ecosystem. All models show nutrients and energy starting with the producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, then to the tertiary consumers. Arrows pointing from prey to predator because it shows where energy is being transferred. Um, so trophic levels or feeding steps include first, producers, second, primary consumer, third, secondary consumer, fourth, tertiary consumer. So we're going to compare the differences between food chains and food webs. So a food chain is a simple model. So I can that down for you. So um so it always starts with a producer and then it shows organisms that feed on only one organism. So it's very simple. But a food web this is a different story. It's a very complex model. Food webs can show organisms that feed on more than one organism, and producers are always found on the bottom. There are also ecological pyramids, which are py pyramids that show energy, population size, and biomass in an ecosystem. So the pyramid of energy shows that shows how energy decreases as it moves up the pyramid. So only 10% of the energy is transferred to the predator. So pyramid of numbers show population size, and producers will always have the largest population because they need to create the most energy to last throughout the whole pyramid. Producer, producer level has to sustain each successive trophic, trophic level. The pyramid of biomass shows that biomass is dry or living weight. Producers will always have the largest biomass, same because producer level has to sustain each successive trophic level or else the higher levels will die. So the producer's population is very important.